Welcome back to the One and a Half White Guys podcast, or more unsolicited white guy opinions on movies. Uh, we're doing again something a little bit different. Uh, my partner, Crystal, shout out to her, uh, sent me this list from The Cut called Best Halloween Movies. And the reason she sent this to us is because there's some real questionable choices on this list. So <laughs> there's 55 on there. We're not going to do all of them. But I think, Nick, we can just go down the list. and give Already? Our- that's long that's a long list for halloween now halloween movies have a certain feel to them all right and we actually have a video out all about our favorite halloween movies and that's already out there so if you have anybody that says well what do you guys know uh go check it out we have that video up please do so why don't we look down and just go through some list and we'll just give a general reaction any any ones that make sense probably just gonna be okay that makes sense we might have to stop a few times yeah yeah to to see (laughs) all right let's start down the list oh hang on hold on hold on hold on I'm gonna do you know how to use a laptop? I don't. Oh my god, Blair, do you know how to use a computer? Oh my god, Blair, do you know how to use a fucking computer? <laughs> <laughs> All right. The cut team's top Halloween movies. Clue. Clue. Uh, that's, an, that's an interesting choice. Uh it's I just don't because it's a mystery. I don't necessarily like disagree, but also I'm not like this isn't what I would pick. And then again, what what kind of ending do you want to throw on the end of that? Which ending do we get? I don't know. <laughs> All right, skipping past this. <laughs> The Witch, uh, Anya Taylor Joy. I'm willing to accept that. Sure. Yeah, that's a that's a Halloween. I'm giving that Scream. That's one of the ones I said. Halloween. Okay, okay, yeah. agreed. Nightmare Before Christmas, of course. Uh, whatever. Hocus Pocus. Oh, yeah, okay. come on. Millennials. Coraline. All right, willing to give it to you. I guess. Yeah. Practical Magic. Oh yeah, man, yeah. I haven't seen that's, that one that's, a bit. That's, yeah. a, that's okay. a fall favorite. This is okay. So far, we're up. We're good. Halloween Town. That makes sense. Obvious. Jennifer's Body. Yeah, right. kind of. Are they in like? Are they in like Washington again or something like that? <laughs> it feels like it. <laughs> oh, let's, get, let's wait on that. But Jennifer's uh, body. What's the, what's the music? What's the music? The the band that like is an indie rock band that is like trying to get rich. But, oh, or, Adam Brody's band. Yeah. <laughs> what? What's I forget so- what they're called. What song do they sing? Yeah. Jenny, I got your number. They're about to fucking kill her. Yeah. <laughs> Rocky Horror. Rocky Horror is overrated, okay. dude. You, 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 overrated? Overrated. You want to say sorry. overrated? Like, sure, you can watch it for the season, by all means, if it's one of your favorites. But I think it's like, I've never been one to see the appeal in it. Honestly. Oh, really? You can come you come at me, man. Damn. Like, Nick's making a bold If there's one thing I like love about it, it is Tim Curry and Time Warp well, I mean, is good. True. All the rest of it, I'm just like, it's one ear out the other for me at every single time. That makes sense. Uh, 38 other extremely good. We're moving on down. Adam's family? Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Definitely. Halloween, 78. What's it's, that? It's, uh, yeah, it's one you haven't seen, I know. <laughs> I mean, that's dead middle. Beetlejuice, yes. Very much so. Corpse Bride. It's mostly Tim Burton stuff in that, yeah. Corpse Bride, I think, is more fun for Halloween than yeah. Nightmare Before Christmas. Yeah. I think, like, if you want Nightmare Before Christmas... You can you have you can watch it like three months out of the whole year. Yeah. Because it's just both. But yeah. I always thought it was a better Christmas movie Fine. than a Halloween movie. Has a more yeah, has a more Christmassy feel. Uh Sleepy Hollow, that's when you said. I love Sleepy Hollow. Sleepy Hollow. Good good Halloween. Get out. No. Uh, I, I don't see it. Get outs, get outs just kind of like it feels get out it get, feels get out summer, right? Get out's good. No, no, no. I love get out, but I don't think it match i don't think it like goes with the season because this is like we're just going off the list okay we really are it's uh, it's not like we're saying like i don't want to gatekeep halloween yeah but i i think that one doesn't really it feels like summer look at this photo they're all drinking iced tea outside this is a very summer looking movie not a fall movie not a fall movie yeah psycho Oh yeah, Psycho. Psycho's Halloween. I mean, it takes place. No, do you know it takes place in December? Is that actually true? Yeah, oh, like it God. opens with like the date, and it's December. Oh yeah, it does, doesn't it? I'm pretty sure he's eating candy corn at one point. Yeah. So I'm like Halloween. <laughs> Haunted Mansion, 2003. Oh come yeah, on, fair, fair, very, enough. very oh, good. Not the best sneakers for women in every style. It's a great pumpkin, Charlie Brown. Classic. Yeah, gotta give it. How can you? Gotta not? give it. All right. So, Twitches. Hell yeah. Twitches, the 2000s. Twitches, with, yeah. That with does. The sister, sister. But that also takes place on Halloween. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Silence of the Lambs. 
No. 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 I don't see no, it, No, and I, and I do mean this. Silence of the Lambs is a Halloween movie in the same way like Long Legs is. It, it's not quite a Halloween movie. I don't know what season it would take place in, but it doesn't feel Halloween. It's horror adjacent. Yeah. Like I get Silence of the Lambs is considered a horror movie, mm -hmm. and even though it's it's really not. A crime thriller. <laughs> it's a yeah. crime thriller yeah. that's horror adjacent, but it just doesn't scream like, hey, let's watch this during Halloween season. It really does sound like we're gatekeeping Halloween. Yeah, right? it really does. <laughs> and we're, we're just going through certain, <laughs> the certain ones. The Village? I mean, I can see that more than Silence of the Lambs. Fine, fair enough. I guess. 2017 It. Sure. Yeah, all right. Yeah. That's summer. I think that's more of a summer movie. That is a summer movie. Yeah. Like, those are kids on their bikes fucking around in the summer. Yeah. But it was so... Popular. I'm just yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Why not? Yeah, sure. Sixth Sense. Mm, I guess. Yeah, sure. I, I'm gonna. We'll give that Casper. Hell yeah. Yeah, you. Casper's you like a Halloween that. movie. Yeah, yeah. The House on Haunted Hill remake. The remake. Yeah. The what the, why isn't the original <laughs> on there? Know. Okay, it's, the it's original. Got the, it's got the scene where they're all looking at the coffin and they have guns in the little coffins that are in the coffins. So you're just gonna put a coffin, a gun in a coffin, in a coffin, in a coffin. <laughs> what? I don't remember the that. Scene? Yeah, it's the scene where they're all like at the the fucking uh Captain Barbosa is like, hey, <laughs> uh we're playing this game, remember? And then he gives everyone there's like a giant coffin table with smoke coming out of it, and then in there is a bunch of little mini coffins, and in each coffin is a gun. Remember that? No. <laughs> he gives them all guns Cause, and he's cause, like, because I, I can I, kill each other, Captain Jack. That Original is a really good Halloween movie. Yeah, I'll give it. That, like that, that remake's a dud. Though, that, yeah, I, I, I don't particularly <laughs> like it. It's, it's like all right at points, and then it gets bad. Uh, Ali Larder is probably the best thing in it. I don't even remember she's she, in it. Yeah, I, she, that's how long ago I've seen it. Yeah. Uh, Crimson Peak. I love Crimson Peak. Yeah, you like I, that one. But for a Halloween movie, I can definitely see it. Yeah. I wouldn't rank well, it. Well, it's a gothic-looking movie. I wouldn't rank it super high. Yeah. But sure, very much a sure, yeah. Nightmare on Elm Street. Yeah. Yeah, Halloween. Yeah. Spooky very much. Young Frankenstein. Oh, hell yeah. yeah that's, that's, that's a good Halloween watch. Yeah. yeah. Ghostbusters. Yeah. Yeah. Ghostbusters yeah, is like kids, summer. Yeah. yeah. But I, I know lots of people who love to watch that during the season. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. That's that's definitely so true. So I I'm guilty of that too. Yeah, honestly. Yeah, yeah. I'll go ahead and agree with that. Scooby-Doo 2 and Scooby-Doo 2 Monsters Unleashed. Top of the list. Top of the list. Top of the list. <laughs> Easy top of the list. Good choice. The cut's but doing okay it's, so it's, far. They're summer movies. They really kind of feel more like summer movies, but they 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 go so well yeah. for Halloween. Carrie? I can see Carrie. Yeah. Is it the homecoming dance Ye that she gets like, or it's senior prom? Never senior mind. prom, yeah. So that's like spring. Yeah. It's like May usually. I, I guess Carrie works. Yeah. Like <laughs> Jumanji. Why? <laughs> Why is Chumanji on here? <laughs> Skip it. <laughs> is it take place on Halloween? I don't know. Because I can the, see why from, people from would say still, like, oh, E.T., watch E.T. for Halloween because yeah. there's a Halloween scene in that. But like for Jumanji, I'm just wondering, is it because it's a creature feature kind of in regards? Well, there's a British dude chasing you. That's pretty scary. <laughs> <laughs> I'll shoot you. I have no ammunition. I, I don't think Shivaji qualifies for a Halloween movie. Does it say why it's on there? Why is it that movie set in New England always feel autumnal? Autumnal. That's an odd word, but I, I don't know. <laughs> autumnal. In this Robin Williams vehicle, Robin Williams vehicle, Jumanji is one board game you definitely don't want to play. But the film is touching, exciting, and thrilling. I mean, I agree. It, it, I like Jumanji. I just don't think it would be put on now. Double Double Toil and Trouble, 1993. I never saw that. Is yeah, that that's the one with the Olsen. Uh, that's the Olsen twins? Yeah, yeah, Olsen twins. Yeah, I've seen that one. Oh, my <laughs> God. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's... I, I put that on over Jumanji. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. Okay. All right. Twilight. Twilight. Okay, we need to have a discussion here. Here's Twilight is not. I, I'm willing to give you that it's a fall movie. I, I, it cannot be a Halloween movie though. This is a November Do they, movie. Stop. Hold on. Okay. Do they go to homecoming dance at the end? Is that homecoming? Is that if it's that, homecoming, then it's like fuck. Okay. It's probably October then. Is that what that is? Is that the dance at the end of it? And you're ready right now. Yes. 
I don't know. I don't know. I don't remember. I was too drunk. First like, film I don't, in the I Twilight don't. Saga is a safe pick for Halloween movie night. It can even be the start of a movie marathon if you can't get enough. Half vampire story, half romance. The movie chronicles the beginning of Edwards and Bella's love affair. And it's just pop, it's popular now just as ever. I, There's no uh, half. There's no half. It's just pure romance. It's just pure romance. There's <laughs> no like what vampire stuff. <laughs> well, the other all the other vampires are just real pick me with it, remember? Oh, like, as if you could out pizza the hut. <laughs> Have you seen that? One? That's, a, that's a good one. The memes of Twilight, like Twilight having like a resurgence, a, like a like a nostalgia resurgence, is just I don't know. It's really wholesome because people are just like this 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 is garbage. But why do we love it? It's so we really trash. we really love it. Like people like swear by this series. It's, apparently, it's a millennial love. And you know what? Fine, I, but I got to give it to you. <laughs> not not a Halloween movie. Are we gonna do New Moon? Uh, yes, we will. Oh, that's coming. Don't worry. If Nick, I can convince Nick to drink some more like that again. Paranorman. I like that. I mean, I said that. No, one. that's Halloween. That's Halloween. That's a good Halloween. Us. Hmm. Mm. Still another summer one. Summer yeah. one. <laughs> They're on the beach. Uh, I mean, it, would you consider Lost Boys? You wouldn't consider a Halloween movie, no? Because the same, it, it's it, the same it, beach. It's Santa Cruz, right? It, Lost well, Boys is also like in the summer, though. Yeah, Lost Boys is a really good summer horror. Cry but I could, little. <laughs> thou shall not pick from this list, but because I think Lost aren't Boys, they going to it like a summer vacation on the lake. In us, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. it's it's and like it, our vacation. And home. I like us, but I just don't know if it's a I like Halloween a, I movie like us too. Yeah, so it's a girl. Hereditary. Boys. Uh, not really yeah hereditary is more of like if you have a like really shitty holiday season yeah. in December you're just like <laughs> really want to watch something dour and yeah. like down you put on hereditary yeah I think it works better like yeah, I think it works better then somehow. yeah 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 and it, it's a good horror movie it's an because elevated it's about horror. watching a family fall yeah. apart and that happens a lot during the holidays does it not yeah <laughs> yeah oh god yeah it should be taken around Thanksgiving it's a Thanksgiving, it's a movie. Thanksgiving yeah. movie, is what you're saying. <laughs> X? No, that's, that's summer. A, that's a summer movie. That's summer. It's it's like hot Texas chainsaw. I like X. I like X a lot. Uh, no, though, I know, but I'm it's, not saying it's, it's just a summer. I think all of I don't think it's a Halloween one. Yeah. All, I think all of the sequels and the prequels, technically, is summer. If you can get past like the aesthetic of each of these movies, yeah. like, and you're just like, I just want to watch a horror movie for Halloween time, you pick whatever you want by yeah. all means. But the I guess because we're so jaded and so up our own asses, yeah. we just have to this watch is, movies. This is just us. With this is different just, eyes. This is just us. <laughs> us gatekeeping Halloween. It's like I, we gatekeep Sorry. Halloween for like twenty minutes. All right. Okay. The next one is going to be hard to get around. Midsummer. <laughs> Summer in the fucking, says summer. in the title. What are we supposed to do? Uh, no, not a Halloween movie. Creepy, disturbing. Not a Halloween movie. I, can I say something about what? Midsummer? Fuck her sister so hard in that movie. What for killing the whole family? It's just like you want to kill yourself. That sucks, but that's fine. Why'd you kill the parents? Hot too? Take. Why did you leave her with no one? Hot take. You fucking. Good <laughs> for her. Why'd you fucking kill Good the guy? Good for her. <laughs> Heated on me, burn him. <laughs> Long legs. No, no, no it's we already not, said this. <laughs> and you know what? It might even take place during the fall, and I don't even remember when it takes place. It's like snowy where where they're at, isn't it? No, not during that time. It's snowy in the beginning. I remember when it's like the flashback. I wore my long legs today. Why don't I just? <gasps> Wow, you really like long legs. <laughs> it's actually getting re-released for Halloween. Why? I, I know. I, I don't, don't really know, know why. Because it's, because kind of it's like 2024 a... scariest horror movie. I don't know, man. I think Joker 2 is a little scarier. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wait, watch Shower. Oh, God. <laughs> We're going to have to bleep that. Fright Night. Which one? Uh, 98, 85. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, sure, yeah right. We're getting there. We're getting there. It Follows... No. Also, a summer second Micah Monroe movie uh, on this on this list to get relegated from. Okay, Halloween I don't know time. what it is, but I, something about elevated horror just doesn't really belong on like a Halloween list. Uh, yeah, so, yeah. It, it, unless it is like it takes place on Halloween, because the focus of it is like so much on the characters instead of like this the the atmosphere. Yeah, but it creates a creepy atmosphere, but the atmosphere around it just doesn't scream like 
this is spooky season. Mm -hmm. You're run, right. I instead, agree instead, run for your life. Yep. <laughs> Bewitched 2005 with Nicole Kidman. Oh, I forgot about that. Is movie. that just because it's a witch? A witch? That's like a really weird movie because it's 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 not even based off the show. It's about people trying to reboot the show, but yeah. it turns out the person they cast as a witch is a real witch. Oh shit! So oh, it's yeah. like it's trying to be like meta and maybe a little ahead of its time, but I yeah. Is it the scream of witch movies? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're almost at the bottom here. Frank and Weenie. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, that makes sense. I mean, it's definitely spooky bringing your dog back to life. That's the end of the list. Some list. So let's let's review here. Uh, how are we, how are we where gonna... was Idle Hands? Yeah, the cut. <laughs> <laughs> or is that not family friendly enough? I don't even think Ginger Snaps is on here. That's sad. What about Dead Silence? Dead Silence is not on here. I know it's not on here. <laughs> yeah, I'm just look. I'm going through it again. There's nothing. Overall, I respect them putting Scooby Doo's on there. That's yeah. good. Yeah. Nick, go ahead and rate this list out of a hundred. Out of a hundred? Yeah. Go ahead and rate this list. I don't know. I, I, 69 dude <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna give this list like a 60 yeah I, I feel like there's some uh, Halloween essentials missing some Halloween essentials we talked about in our video we're just being very subjective yeah right I mean now. it's completely subjective in please our don't opinions. take us seriously yeah I mean this is a completely subjective opinion to this list but you know what they put this list out so we're allowed to have an opinion on it Sure, maybe whoever wrote this like has like childhood attachments or like personal attachments to things on the list like yeah. that have to like oh they watched Jumanji like one Halloween like I'm like that like I mean that's there's why, some st scary stuff in Jumanji and stuff yeah but yeah. that's why I like Dead Silence because I watched it one Halloween yeah. and so that's why I see it as like a Halloween movie like the Blob the '88 Blob movie mm -hmm. I'm like that's a fun Halloween pick because I watched it on Halloween yeah so may so that could factor into what, what what this list is we have no zombie movies on here either oh my god you're right there's no zombie movies what's the worst zombie movie you'd put on here like uh, the one that would not fit 28 days 28 days 28 days i was thinking really the fit. same thing 28 days feels summer as well i don't know why the original night of the living dead that's perfect for Halloween. oh that's halloween yeah better than like dawn of the dead or day of the dead day of the dead's straight up summer yeah like that's summer return of the living dead is summer as well the Night of the Living Dead remake, that's also good for Halloween. Yeah. Yeah. See, okay, so yeah, there is some there is some stuff, you know, that, but yeah, no zombie movies on here either. Uh, a lot of witch movies. A lot of witch movies, spooky, which, you know, that makes sense because witch, you know, that's supposed to be Halloween time, right? Yeah. No, uh, and you know, and no other no other Halloweens. Well, I mean, the just by one. putting the original on there, it's basically like, well, yeah, have at it. What about <laughs> season of the witch? Oh, yeah. With Nicolas Cage. Yeah, no, no, <laughs> no. I, was I just, think we should stop it here. <laughs> I, yeah, I think we should. I was just going to say because we all we all have that memory. We all have that song memorized in our heads, right? It's morning. Halloween, Halloween, Halloween. It's morning. Halloween, Silver There's a piece of Stonehenge <laughs> in each one. <laughs> anyway. We had a time getting it here. Yeah. You all wouldn't right. believe how we did it. Are you going to tell us? No, <laughs> maybe you should stop having sex with random women. Half your age. Oh, God. You've been in three this movie, Tom Atkins. <laughs> Two are not your wife. <laughs> oh, right. if we, the, we do. If there's a lesson to this video. It's to watch Halloween three. Season the of the season Witch. of the witch. Just watch that for one for Halloween. All right. As if you could out pizza. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for watching this episode of the One and a Half White Guys podcast. Be sure to rate us, follow us, and subscribe to us wherever you get your podcast from. Don't forget to follow us on our Instagram at One and a Half White Guys Pod, on TikTok at One and a Half White Guys Pod, and now on our YouTube at One and a Half White Guys. And be sure to tell a friend to listen to the podcast where we say we're going to talk about a movie. Instead, we just talk about a list. We talk about the list of movies. We're In fact, about a we're kind of gatekeepy about it. Yeah. Sorry for wasting your time. Yep. But if we you want us to waste your time a little bit more, we got another show called The Weird, The Bad, and The Bloody exclusively on the Nerd Enthusiast YouTube channel where we talk about the weirdest, baddest, and bloodiest movies of the 80s, 90s, and 2000s. Maybe next year we'll put out our own list and we'll just start putting on random shit we just want. What would you put on there that you know would get a reaction? It came out in October. <laughs> what about what about what about The Lighthouse? <laughs> Does The Lighthouse fit on here? I don't know, man. <laughs> Crazy. Look at she posting badness. <laughs> but the the one that I would have put on there because I'm like, you can't say no to this as much as you fucking want to because it takes place on Halloween is Venom Let There Be Carnage. Oh my God. <laughs>
of course, fight me. All right, we'll <laughs> see you guys next time. Bye. Peace.